Hello! In this video, we're going to demonstrate setting up the USB 2 Wi-Fi stick in a computer. Now this is part 2. Part 1 would be to set up a shared folder in your main computer. And part 2 would be to configure the USB stick to see your computer and shared folder. Okay, first off, we plug the stick into a computer. And it will take a second or two to boot. There it goes. One light on, other light blinking. This is what a new stick will look like. Uh, and it automatically popped up a folder. It may not automatically pop up, it depends on your operating system. But on the stick will be a USB Wi-Fi folder, which will go in. And there is a web page here, which we will open. I recommend opening it in Firefox or Internet Explorer. It will not work in other browsers. Okay, um, it, the stick uses Java to configure uh, a Java applet. So we need to allow it, allow, allow. And the application configure Wi-Fi stick app, etc., etc. Hit yes. And there we go. There will be warning windows up here and they will all go away once Java is running. Okay. Step one, over here is menus, and there is a Wi-Fi setup and shared setup. And step one would be the Wi-Fi setup. We're going to find your Wi-Fi router or access point. Scroll down here to new scan and click. And it will send a command to the Wi-Fi stick. Um, it will take a few seconds. Okay, it popped up again. Now, what happened is that we wrote a text file to the stick. He saw it uh, and did his thing and then disconnected and reconnected. So, if you pull out a USB stick from your computer and put it back in, some computers will pop up a window, some computers will do nothing. On this computer, which is Linux, it is popping open a window. You can just close that. We want to get back to our browser. And here, he filled out... Well, here he filled out uh, a router list. <laughs> Ignore the bottom one. I don't, someone thinks they're funny. Uh, the top one is our router. We highlighted it and now we'll press select router. And this will send a second command to the USB stick to program us for this router. Okay. And it disconnected and reconnected pretty fast. Uh, close this as usual. And after choosing our Wi-Fi router, we choose a Wi-Fi password, which I'll type in here. This will be edited out so no one can see. And there are two options to save as phrase and save as key. If you look up here, an example phrase is has a lot of English words and a key has a lot of digits and limited words. Uh, most people will probably have uh, their Wi-Fi password saved as a phrase. So just do this first. Now, when you when you are successful, you watch the lights over here. Once both lights go on at the same time, it has connected. Now, and there we go. Both lights nice and steady. Uh, you will notice it's fading in and out. That is how the Wi-Fi stick tells you that. He doesn't like, the connection is not too strong. Uh, don't worry about it too much. Just make sure you are in a good location for your router. This location, my desk, is in a horrible location, so he will he will blink a lot. It's a great place to test in. Uh, anyhow, two lights steady. It may be fading in and out, but it's steady. That means step one is done. Now, step two, let's go to the top, is shared setup. And we will now look for the shared folder. Uh, as I said at the beginning, our shared folder is on another computer. It's, let's see here. Oh, it's on my tablet here. Uh, I've set this up on the other video. So on this, on this web browser, we will click new scan, kind of like what we did for our, uh, the Wi-Fi scan. And hopefully it will see the tablet. Uh, the scan will take maybe 10 seconds. A little bit longer than a usual command. Uh, 
Okay, and here is a scan list. And this one here, the tablet, and this folder here is what I want. This is a list of computers. My tablet's called HP Tablet. This is a list of folders. You know, if there's more than one folder. This is the shared folder I want. Highlight it and press select share. It should be a second or two. And there we go. The stick should be configured and ready for your machine in most cases. All right, uh, let me bring in my tablet to well, no, it's very shiny. Okay, there we go. And the stick's here, tablet's here. Uh, and our folder, caught butterfly, is right here. And again, what you do is you drag it in and look at the blinking. Now, once, once the stick has transferred, uh, it's going to disconnect and, and reconnect automatically. You could see stuff in the background. And there we go. The first one we dragged in is there. So let's drag in this one caught fish. And there you go. He's updating. And this is in a really bad location. So he's a little bit slower than usual. And okay, there you see fish and the other file. And that's it. And to complete this demonstration, let me, oh, let me bring up this folder. Drag them back out, drag them back out. And I'll empty there. And there you go. For most customers, it should be, that should be about the steps. If you have an advanced system like a Microsoft server, there'll be additional steps. But for most of you, it should be nice and easy like this. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to watch the other videos if you still have a problem. It, and again, this was Linux using uh, Mozilla Firefox, but it can also be configured from your Windows or Apple computer as long as Firefox and Java is installed uh, and Internet Explorer too. Okay, I hope that helped and see you later.